everybody, Leanne here, and today we're talking about the Ordinary Skincare Products. And if you like all things food, wine, and lifestyle, then welcome to our channel. So like I said, we are going to talk about the Ordinary Skincare Products. And um, you'll see a lot of that stuff all over YouTube, all, uh, all the different channels are talking about the Ordinary. So I thought that um, I would talk about it as well. Um, I have... So how I heard about The Ordinary is uh, through my um, facialist, and she had recommended that I try their vitamin C, the uh, ascorbic acid, and so I was looking online at The Ordinary, and I found a bunch of products that I thought I'd want to try, because their prices are very reasonable. I don't think there was too many products that were over $10, and so... I thought I would give a couple of them a try. So I have eight different products that I have been using off and on for the last several months. And so I decided that I'm going to talk to you today about what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I'm still, the jury is still out on. So I have tried eight different products. And let's start with the stuff that I don't really like. So the product that my facialist said um, recommended was the 100% ascorbic acid powder. And the thing that I didn't like about this product the most is that you had to mix it with something else. And on the one thing I do like about The Ordinary is their website is very informative. They have a lot of great information telling you what to what you can mix together, what you shouldn't mix together. So I really like that about the website. The website's very informative. And so um, you had to mix with that. So that was just something with this. And that was just one extra step that just ate into the nighttime routine. And I had mixed it with the um, hyaluronic acid, the 2% plus B5 or B6. And I mix these two together, and um, I have to admit, with the ascorbic acid, I wasn't as faithful as using as I was with the hyaluronic acid. And um, the hyaluronic acid, I don't think it really made that much of a difference. It's supposed to be hydrating, and I didn't really think it made that much of a difference except on my hands. It really did a really great job on my hands, but my face, not so much. And then, like I said, the extra step of having to add this ascorbic acid, it just was uh, a pain. So these are two products that I definitely will not be getting again. And then I tried the, um, the I don't know if it's squalene or squalene uh, cleanser. And I tried this product. Now, this is one product that I am on my second tube. I am almost out of the second tube. I really liked it. It is a, a plant oil based product that if you're into K-beauty at all, this would be your first cleanser, your oil based cleanser. And I really like this. It didn't remove all of my makeup, but it removed the majority of my makeup. And then I would follow up on that with the, um, the glycolic acid 7% um, uh, toning solution. Now those, these two products together definitely removed all of my makeup. So, um, like I said, this is the second one. I'm almost done with this one. I'm going to buy another one. And then this one, um, I don't use it every day cause it is a little strong, but I use it a lot. And, um, this is a product that I would buy again. So those are two. So I've got two so far that I won't buy again and two that I will. And then the, um, the, the buffet, the, uh, copper peptide 15 or 15%. Um, I wasn't really impressed with this either, so I'm not going to buy that again. And then I had the, um, the, uh, hundred percent organic cold press rosehip seed oil. <sighs> I'm not sure yet. The jury's still out on this one. I do use it not every day, um, but I do like it when I feel that my skin needs a little bit more moisture and I put this on at night so that it has a chance to sit in my skin 
overnight. So the jury is still out on the rosehip oil. And then um, I also bought the uh, multi-peptide multi serum for hair density. I have to admit, I wasn't very faithful because I don't wash my hair every day and you're supposed to use this product every day. And since I don't wash my hair every day, I didn't use this every day and I would forget to use it. So I still have to try it. I'm going to wait because I'm trying this new shampoo. So I'm going to wait before I uh, reintroduce this to my hair care. Um, I want to give the shampoo a chance uh, that I'm using a chance to, to do its work. And so far I'm really impressed with it. So I'm going to wait on this. The jury's still out on that. And then the last thing, the thing that's the most popular thing all over the internet is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Now this is that red stuff that you see people that are pouring it on their face, which you're not supposed to. You're supposed to put it in your hand and then work it into your skin. You're not supposed to touch the dropper to your face because then it contaminates the bottle. But this is all over the internet. Everybody's doing the blood facial and yeah, 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 whatever. But so the jury is out on this as well because um, I just haven't used it enough to determine if this has made a difference in my skin or not. So anyways, so the short story is, is that the glycolic solution and the squalene cleanser, I love these two products. I will continue to buy these. These are great. Love these, recommend these. Um, the rosehip oil, uh, it's still out on that, but I am going to continue to use it. And then also the hair density, I'm also going to use that in the future. Try that again. Um, the Buffett um, and Copper Peptides, not impressed with that. The L-ascorbic acid, the uh, hyaluronic acid, um, I'm not going to buy those again either. But um, I will continue to try the... The, like I said, the rose hip oil and the peeling solution. And in the future, I will bring more uh, updates on these two products. So anyways, I hope you like this video and I hope you find that um, it is informative and there's some great information in it for you. I will put all of the information and my verdicts on each one in the description below. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.